I've now got the oil pan off of the Alice Chalmers engine and here's the failure mode here's the top part of the rod bearing and you can or the top part of the rod actually and the bottom part the rod cap fell off here's the crankshaft journal and this is actually the uh, let's see would this be the number two cylinder it's the cylinder next to the rear one I don't know if you can see, okay, there's the rear cylinder, rear piston. But I'll take a look at the other side. You can see the piston is broken. The rod is actually still attached to the piston. It just, the bottom just came off and the rod, or the, I'm not sure what all the proper terminology is on here, but this, this part here just cracked off and then the bottom, a rod cap fell off. Now, looking at some of these other ones, I see no cotter pins on the bolts. I hope whoever did this didn't like set this up to just self-destruct itself by the rod caps coming off. Because it looked like somebody probably overhauled it and didn't put the cotter pins back on. And I think the nut ended up coming loose and that's what destroyed this one here. So. Any advice you can give on this, anybody that's done an engine overhaul, I'd really appreciate it. I'm going to see if I can maybe just uh, replace the piston, the rod, and the bearing. And, and, but I guess I'd have to make sure the piston fits in there properly. We'll take another look at the other side and you can see the piston damage. Here's the oil pan. There was some water that got in this pan somehow. I don't know how it got water in it. So it was just kind of sludgy and yucky. It cleaned out the pan, cleaned out the oil pump pickup screen. Of course, I'll do a real thorough job of cleaning this before I actually put it back on the tractor. And get, get a look at the piston damage here. Okay, here we're looking up at the piston. You can see the bottom of the piston is cracked. Probably from where it hit the crankshaft. So, I think what happened when the rod, uh, when the rod came off, the piston just fell down out of the cylinder. The bottom of the piston hit the crankshaft. And that's what did the damage. I must have recollected wrong about actually what happened. I guess that's better than the rod actually cracking. Nothing actually cracked the engine block. I don't know if this crankshaft uh, journal here there's some damage to the sides you can see here but this actually looks like it's not in too bad a shape hopefully I don't want to have to take the entire engine out or get the crankshaft reground the main bearings still have got the uh, got their sealing wires put in there but here's another one of those rod bearings has no cotter pin in it and it's just waiting for that nut to vibrate loose and come off. So I really want to try to get this fixed but if anybody that's done engine overhauls I could use some advice on how to proceed. Here's the oil pump pickup. It had sludge on it. I guess what I'm going to have to do is to take off the valve cover and then take off the head, push the piston up through the uh, cylinder, up through from the bottom. And then I guess I'd probably need to hone the cylinder. Hopefully I wouldn't have to replace the entire sleeve. But that's, that's what the damage was to it.